While inside his room, Haruto realized that his father seemed to be busy. Although he was happy that he didn't have to do any swordsmanship training, he was still wondering what the reason was. At the same time, he heard the commotion outside the castle, and after using his magic, he saw the large number of soldiers receiving treatments outside. His father told him that because the thieves have been attacking their area often recently, they decided to head to their base after getting enough information. And although they were well prepared and careful, they still suffered because they were desperate to not let anyone get away. And this demoralized the soldiers, including his father. His father asked him to go back home, worried that the sight might be too harsh for Haruto since he's still so young. Although Haruto obeyed his father without saying anything, it was obvious that he was enraged by the situation. And it was confirmed when he scolded Flay for mocking the soldiers for losing. Afterwards, Haruto used his barrier to heal the injuries of the soldiers. His father couldn't understand what had happened. While the soldiers rejoiced after noticing that their injuries had healed, Haruto went to sleep after returning to the castle, and he was surprised to see Flay completely quiet outside of his room. He was talking to Flay, but she wasn't answering at all, so he realized that it was because he told her to shut up earlier in the day. Although he thought that it was stupid, he apologized while telling Flay that she could speak again. And then Flay apologized for being rude, so Haruto realized that she still didn't understand why he was upset. Using his magic, Haruto checked every part of the estate to look for the thieves. He immediately found the group responsible for the attack on his father. However, he realized that there were normal soldiers among them working as spies. Because of this, Haruto decided to destroy them. Thoroughly, Haruto used his barrier to fly and travel to the thieves' location, and Char saw it from outside her room. The thieves were celebrating. They were in high spirits after defeating Margrave Gold and his soldiers. They were so satisfied after seeing the flustered look of the rumbling Earth's Warhammer while his soldiers suffered in their hands. However, they were shocked when Haruto suddenly joined their conversation. They were quick to take out their weapons, but Haruto immediately used his barrier to stop their movements, and he threw one of the thieves against the wall to shut him up. The two other thieves were visibly afraid after seeing their companion embedded in the wall. Then Haruto asked them to answer his questions while telling them the consequences if they tried to lie. After interrogating the thieves, he found out that they were actually soldiers from the Empire, and they were planning to invade the kingdom while pretending to be thieves in order to cause chaos from the inside. And they also informed Haruto that they have accomplices, so they managed to infiltrate the kingdom easily even though the borders are guarded. Haruto concluded that it is only possible if their accomplice has the same authority as his father, and he also wondered if someone inside the kingdom is trying to kill his father. The soldiers begged for their lives after spilling everything they knew. However, Haruto didn't forget that they tried to kill his father, and he asked Flay to burn the entire fort, including the soldiers. Although he doesn't know about the soldiers or the conflicts within the kingdom, he wouldn't forgive anyone who interfered with his business. Then he sent an anonymous letter explaining the fort's situation to his father. The next day, one of Margrave Gold's subordinates informed him about the letter, and they confirmed that everything written in it about the Fort of Thieves was true. Margrave Gold couldn't understand how the Empire soldiers managed to infiltrate the kingdom through the borders. Then he asked his subordinate to find out who the sender of the letter was. Although he knew they weren't ordinary thieves, he didn't expect that they were actually soldiers from the Empire. Because of this, he was certain that the thing he was worried about was about to happen. Char asked who defeated the bad guys, and although he didn't mention Flay, he was certain that Flay was behind it, as she was the only person he knew who could manipulate fire, and she even has influence over the demons in the area. Char asked to leave after hearing this, and she told her father that she remembered she had something to do. Char remembered seeing her brother and Flay fly away the previous night, and she couldn't understand what her brother really was. Char came to Flay, asking if she had two brothers. Flay couldn't understand her question, and she even wondered if something was wrong with Char's head. However, Char explained that she saw Haruto and Flay flying the previous night, which should be impossible considering Haruto's low mana. She also added that after seeing them, she went to check Haruto's room and saw him sleeping soundly without his usual scary aura. Flay praised Char for noticing Haruto's power, and then she explained that Haruto has always had immeasurably high magic powers since he was born, and even demons like her couldn't reach the same level. Char asked who her brother actually was. Flay admitted that she knew, but she also told Char that she could not say it before saying that if she continued fussing over little things, she'd never get bigger like her. Flay informed Haruto about her conversation with Char, which explains why Char has been keeping an eye on him recently. 
Because of this, he decided to create a barrier that would alert him to what Char was doing and where she was. Then Flay also asked why Haruto has a clone, but he didn't answer her question. Char didn't stop following Haruto, so he finally decided to ask why she was observing him. However, Char ran away before he could even ask his question. For the next few days, Char followed him while he was in training, while he was having a normal conversation, and even while he was taking a bath. During their meal, his parents informed him that his mom and Char would be attending a festival in place of his father. After hearing this, Haruto asked if Flay should go with them. However, Flay is currently busy visiting the demons around the area and threatening them so they won't attack the towns. Because of this, he realized how helpful Flay actually is. At the same time, he noticed that Char was still watching his actions. While he was sleeping, alarms from his barrier suddenly went off, indicating that Char was in danger. The Empire soldiers ambushed Char and Natalia while they were on their way to the festival. The soldiers guarding them are helpless against the Empire soldiers, so Natalia had no choice but to run away while carrying Char. The soldiers used their magic to attack Natalia, and although she managed to block most of their attack, one of them managed to hit her above her ankle. At the same time, Haruto's barrier suddenly showed up, and Char pointed in the direction where they could escape. After running for a while, Char pointed to the location below the cliff, and Natalia jumped down and used her magic to land at the bottom of the cliff safely. Although Natalia had run out of magic power, they managed to reach a cave where they could hide. However, Natalia was worried that it would still be easy to find them inside the cave, so she asked Char to stay inside while she pretended that she would meet the person who was an ally of justice and was helping them. But in reality, she was planning to distract the soldiers and drag them away from where Char is hiding. After leaving the cave, Natalia noticed that an illusion magic was used to hide the cave entrance. However, the soldiers found her immediately. Natalia thought that she shouldn't become a prisoner of war, so she took out her dagger. She was planning to kill herself before the soldiers could catch her. But before she could kill herself, the dagger suddenly shattered, and she lost consciousness. Haruto was enraged after seeing his mother's situation and he defeated the soldiers immediately. Afterwards, Haruto carried his mom inside the cave, and he informed Char that their mother was safe. Then he wanted to leave his mother with Char while asking her to wait patiently for help inside the cave with their mother. Char was afraid because of Haruto's aura. However, since Haruto had saved them, she didn't hesitate anymore and called her brother before he could leave, and Haruto unconsciously turned around after hearing his sister. Char asked Haruto if he was an ally of justice. Haruto was confused by her question and he didn't know what to say because this was the first time that they were having a conversation. Because he didn't know what to do, Haruto just decided to go along with it and tell Char that he was an ally of justice. After hearing this, Char assumed that Haruto's power was used to defeat bad guys. She was amazed at her brother, and she added that she had misunderstood him this whole time. Haruto asked her to keep everything a secret and Char agreed right away while adding that she would even lie to their father. Haruto felt a little guilty after hearing this, but he told Char that he had to leave to take care of the remaining bad guys outside the cave. Inside the castle, Margrave Gold and Haruto were informed that both Natalia and Char were safe and that Flay was already escorting them home. They were also informed that their escort's injuries had disappeared instantly, similar to how the soldiers' injuries from their fight against the thieves had disappeared. Margrave Gold wanted to thank the person who saved them, but he was certain that their savior didn't want to show himself. He also asked Haruto's opinion on the matter, but he only said that since they were not doing anything bad, they must be friendly. After hearing this, he remembered that Char had told him that their savior is an ally of justice. Then Haruto added that these allies of justice will probably take care of the soldiers of the Empire if they ever return. However, his statement caught Margrave Gold's attention, as he never mentioned that the thieves were actually soldiers of the Empire. So Haruto had to make up some excuse before giving a clue to his father regarding the Empire's accomplice inside the kingdom. Because of this, Margrave Gold thought Haruto seemed too mature for a nine-year-old. Then he mentioned that the vixen had finally stopped holding back. Haruto wondered who the vixen was that his father had mentioned. However, Char suddenly opened the door while calling his father. Margrave Gold immediately hugged his wife and daughter, glad that they were safe. However, Char suddenly jumped to Haruto and hugged him, telling him that she had missed him. Their parents were surprised that they were suddenly really close, wondering what had happened. But Char told them that nothing happened. Their parents were still confused, but Char declared that she loved her brother from now on. Flay was jealous seeing the two, but Haruto is just happy that his sister doesn't hate him anymore, while their parents are happy seeing their children getting along. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and look forward to the next part.